We're going to replace this tired old wall-to-wall -wall carpet with easy to install carpet tiles. Carpeted tiles lay down easily side by side to create a smooth carpeted floor that looks just like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, except that the installation is far easier. Here's how to do it. If you can't pull up the carpet with your fingers, try grabbing the pile of carpet with the pliers and give it a good yank. Grab the carpet in one corner of the room and lift the wall-to-wall -wall carpet up and away from the corner. You may have register covers that you may have to lift out that pass through a hole in the carpet. As you pull the carpet up, roll up the carpet. You may have to cut the carpet into sections with a utility knife if the carpet becomes hard to handle. Often under the wall-to-wall -wall carpet, you'll find carpet tack strips which you'll have to pry up. Wear gloves and be careful removing old carpet tack strips as the strips are full of sharp and potentially rusty nails. One of the advantages of tile carpet is you can get the beauty of wall-to-wall -wall carpet without having to cut and roll out a heavy carpet and then stretch and secure it to tack strips, which is very heavy and specialized work. Make sure that the existing floor underneath is solid, smooth, dry, and clean and free of wax. If the floor has ever been waxed, clean the floor with a wax stripping cleaner. Vacuum and then mop the floor completely. Let the floor dry thoroughly before starting. If you're applying the carpet tiles to concrete, follow the special instructions that come with the carpet tile. To determine the best layout of carpet tiles for your space, you'll first need to find the center of the room. Snap a chalk line from one corner of the room to the other. Snap a second chalk line from the opposite corners of the room. Where the lines cross is the center of the room. Now use a tape measure to locate and mark the center of each of the four walls. Snap a chalk line from the center mark on the two end walls. In the typical square or rectangular room, this should pass through or very close to the center of the room. Finally, snap a line between the center lines of the two side walls. This will create a cross pattern in the center of the room. Temporarily lay down a baseline row of tiles, tightly aligned to the edge of each of the lines that form the XY cross pattern. Now stand at the main entrance of the room and see if the pattern needs adjusting. Shift the baselines to avoid any narrow or awkward rows. Once you're satisfied with the layout, refer to the directions that came with the tiles to attach the baseline tiles to each other using the adhesive dots. Continue to build out the tiles toward the four walls, bringing each new tile tightly up against a tile on the X or Y axis. While holding the tiles tightly together, place an adhesive dot sticky side up and press the tiles firmly down onto the adhesive dot. Place one dot in each corner with the adhesive facing up. Each of these adhesive dots will join four carpet tiles on each adjoining corner. The adhesive is designed to allow you to pull the tiles apart if you make a mistake. The adhesive bond actually gets stronger after a few hours. When you get to the edges, you'll generally have to cut some of the tiles to fit between the last row of carpet tiles and the wall. Slip a carpet tile face down under the last tile in the row. Make sure that the tile is snug against the wall. Look at the arrow on the tile's back side. Make sure that they face in the same direction as the tile next to it. This is so the pattern remains the same. Using the edge of this adjoining carpet tile, make a mark on the bottom on either side of the tile to be cut. Lay a carpet tile with the bottom side of the carpet facing up on a board or other cutting surface. Using a straight edge or a utility or carpet knife, make several light cuts between the two marked points. Make sure you cut away from your body. Once the tile is cut, use an adhesive dot to stick the newly cut tile to the last full tile on the row. Repeat this at all four baseline row ends. Continue to work outward to each of the four walls, filling in each of the four quadrants with the remaining tiles. Sometimes there are special cuts to be made. Here we bend the carpet tile over the hole for the heating register and mark the four corners of the register duct 
on the back of the tile. Following the outline for the four corners, cut out the carpet. The hole will allow the register to fit right into the register duct. In this case, the carpet tile has to be cut to fit around a doorway molding. Cut the tile so it fits to the edge of the wall and then measure and cut out the indentation for the molding. Take the time to measure twice so you only have to cut once and the carpet tile will drop right into place. When fitted together tightly and laid over a clean dry surface, Carpet tiles have the look of full wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, with the added convenience of a simple to-do installation. Within just a few hours, your new carpeted tiles are in place, and your room is ready for furniture.